Hi guys, it's been a little while since I've done a Periscope, so my name is Bianca in case you hadn't figured that out um, and I'm from Have It All Marketing and I just wanted to let you in on a few of my nighttime rituals. So what does an intuitive marketer actually do at night and I'm only just one of them so I can't tell you that. This is what everyone does. Hello. So yeah, um, it's, I don't even know what time it is. It's 10.30 here in Australia. I'm in Melbourne. Hello everyone. Thanks for joining. So I'm about to go to bed pretty much. Um, hi. Normally I go to bed a little bit earlier. Thanks for the hearts. <laughs> Normally I try to go to bed at about 10 o'clock. Um, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. It's so nice for you to join me. So yeah, it's quite late for me actually to still be up. So um, I just wanted to let you in on a few of my nighttime rituals or kind of things that I do to sort of make sure that I go to bed on time. I tend to be on a roll sometimes. Um, I still have a full-time job and I'm trying to build my business so I have to sort of work whenever I can. So tonight I was recording a video for my Facebook ads course. Hello, hello, thanks for joining. Um, but there's a few things that I try to sort of stick to so that I can actually get some sleep <laughs> and get up at 6 in the morning. So one thing I do is I set an alarm at 9.30 every night. Well, sorry, it sits on my iPhone, so it does its own thing. And the alarm goes off at 9.30 at night. And that's my prompt to start my bedtime routine to get ready. I actually got that tip from Ariana Huffington. So I did her Thrive O course through the Oprah Winfrey Network. network and um, she gave me the tip of setting an alarm at 9.30 at night so that you make sure that you go to bed on time so that you get enough sleep. So every night at 9.30 my alarm goes off and I start the bedtime routine. The first step in my bed bedtime routine is actually to put the dogs to bed. So we send them out the door into the garden to do their last thing before they go to sleep and then they get put into their crate. So our dogs sleep in a crate um, they cuddle up together and then I start getting ready for my bedtime routine so I'll brush my teeth and do all of that but what I really wanted to show you is the other thing I do the thing that sort of really I think um, shows the end of my day so I'm gonna just flip my camera around so what I do is I keep a gratitude journal this one's from Kiki K um, beautiful shop in Australia and I love colour, so I actually use my coloured pens. I've got some beautiful crystals next to my bed. I don't even know what they are, so if you know what they are, let me know. I've got my salt lamp, which I will turn off um, when I go to sleep. Because I can't sleep with the light on. So. so yeah, what I do is every night, um, so at the moment it's August. I write down three things that I was grateful for that day. Um, so I haven't done today yet. I will do that in a minute. I um, don't think I can actually write like this. So that's one thing I do to sort of end my day. Keep my gratitude journal. Um, sometimes I don't really keep up with it. Um, and if I'm not, um, sometimes it's in a different place in the house and I'm in bed and I've, for I've forgotten to write in it. So what I then do is just put it in my phone and write in it the next day. And it's nice to sort of look back on to see what you were grateful for on that day. Um, so one of the things I was grateful for today is um, my walk to work. I do really enjoy that every day. Um, but today I also went for a, lunch, a walk at lunchtime and the sun was out. Now, I can't tell you how happy I was with the sun out. I was so excited. So I love the sun and with winter here in Melbourne, I've been really missing it. So um, try to go for a walk every day, at least 10,000 steps. 
got my little tracker. I haven't looked at how many steps I've done yet. So thanks for the hearts. <laughs> I love seeing those hearts. It's fun. So yeah, gratitude journal is one thing that I do and I've got my crystals next to my bed, um, my salt lamp. Um, oh, I like seeing those hearts. It's so much fun. <laughs> the other thing that I do and I'll um, I'll go and do that quickly um, soon before I go to sleep is I have an app called Calm, so the Calm app. I'm not the greatest at meditation, I'm still sort of learning and figuring out to switch, Not I know that you're not supposed to switch your brain off, but sometimes I just really struggle, so the Calm app actually helps me to calm down, <laughs> so... I literally just lie down in bed and I use the Calm app and they've got quite a few things for like um, deep sleep, um, sleep, inner peace, gratitude. Um, there's a few for the morning as well, so motivation and positive positivity and I just noticed that they've got one for um, commuting. Hi Leeds! <laughs> it's so nice to see you. I haven't done one of these, uh, of these for ages. I was actually thinking about you because I was talking about the Calm app. So these are my nighttime rituals and one of them that I do is the Calm app. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> and um, when I was talking about the Calm app, I actually thought of you. I was almost going to name your name and say like Lee says, calm your farm. <laughs> so one of my nighttime rituals is to calm the farm. Um, so I'm going to do that in a second, listen to my calm app um, and pretty much calm the farm. So it has really helped me to sleep better. So if you sort of can't switch off at night, add that, you know, five or ten minutes of the calm app to your ritual. Um, it really has helped me sleep much better. So that's pretty much a little bit about, about my nighttime rituals. So my gratitude journal, my crystals, my salt lamp, and my car map. So I think it's about time to go to bed. It's about 45 minutes. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay for calm your farm. <laughs> yes, I love calming the farm. So I'm actually off to calm the farm. <laughs> I really need to go to sleep because, yeah, it's about 45 minutes past my bedtime and I have to be up at 6 tomorrow, early bed. So thank you so much for joining me and if you want to know more about me, you can find me on haveitallmarketing.com. I would love to see you and hopefully I'll see you again soon here. Have a good night everyone. Bye. You too. Sweet dreams, Liz. Bye.